Hello and welcome to Machad Shooting Bench. In this short episode I'm going to show you what is a bullet puller. This right here is a Frankfurt Arsenal bullet puller. It's the hammer style. So basically um, when you're reloading if you mess up or you find out that you put the wrong powder with the wrong bullet weight or something like that this is where a bullet puller really comes in handy. It allows you to uh, to pull the bullets out after you've crimped them and loaded them and allows you to salvage you know sometimes not the bullets because sometimes the crimp will eat into them um, but at least allows you to salvage the primer in the case so you can make the right loads so back when I first started reloading a few years ago um, I had uh, loaded some 2400 um, powder in some 38 special cases and I didn't think about it and I loaded a bunch and it ended up being that they didn't burn fully and so I had a lot of unburnt powder left in my gun and they didn't shoot that accurately so I had this uh, bin left over with the rounds I just never got around to pulling them so I figured I could show you give you a little demonstration on how a bullet puller works and how you salvage the rounds so I've got three left I've done all the other ones you can see the leftover powder and the the bullets in there so one of the things you that you comes with are these little collets they call them and uh, each there's three collets that come in the kit with the uh, the bullet puller and each one is caliber caliber specific so this one works for like uh, 30 carbine 357 magnum 38 special and a bunch of others there's instructions and then you have two other collets like this that are for like um, auto pistol cartridges that don't have a rim they're rimless and those require a different collet so I'm just going to show you how this works. Uh, basically, first, when you when you use this, you're going to take your bullet, and uh, I prefer to put the collet on there, and then take this cover. You can see it's hollow, and screw that over, and I keep it loose, so that way the collet can move around. And then basically you just take the bullet and it goes into that collet, see? And we push it down in so the bullet sat right there and we tighten that right up. Okay, so see that's tight. And what happens is I take this and I whack the hammer on a solid surface and inertia causes the bullet to fall out of the case and the powder and the bullet go down in this end of the hammer and then I can unscrew this, dump the powder and the bullet out and then uh, reuse the case and if the, the bullet if I need to never ever reuse the powder um, you may think you know what it is but it's not worth the risk so if you pull the bullet just get rid of the powder take it dump it in your garden out back it makes good fertilizer wet it down but do not reuse the powder you should only use powder that is completely clearly identified in cases in uh, powder containers so let's move the camera down here so I can show you I've got a a large like lead ingot down here that's good and solid for the bullet puller so we'll just usually it takes between four and five hits and you'll hear it there we go see the bullet just came down so let's set this back up I don't know if you can see in the bottom there but we'll unscrew this And there's an empty case. So we take that out. I don't know if you can see down in there, but the bullet's in there. And we'll. And there's the bullet and the powder. So we'll take the bullet and we'll set that aside. And you can also see where the where the round crimped on the bullet. That line just around there. So that's where the crimp was. And then the powder. So we'll dump that dump that in there. And that's basically just how a bullet puller works, so thanks for watching.